My name is Greta and I'm a second year visual effects student and today I'm going to talk about surviving uni as a vegan and this um, may seem very daunting for people just you know moving out of their parents house um, and following a vegan or a vegetarian diet and I know it might seem like a difficult task but I'm here to tell you it's it's easier than you think. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, uni food. So uh, the place I go to the most is definitely the main uh, canteen kind of cafeteria place uh, in the heart space in uh, St. Mary's campus. And they always have loads of vegetarian and veggie options. Um, for vegetarian people they always have like meat substitutes so for example you can get a vegan uh, sorry vegetarian hot dog or a, a vegetarian you know sausages or a vegetarian lasagna uh, whereas for vegans um, you can always like ask the person working there what is vegan and what's not and that's what's super super good about people working in the cafeteria is that they're so helpful and so informative they will always go in the kitchen and ask for you if something is vegan or not another thing that you can do is um, if you don't find something necessarily from the hot foods that you like you can go uh, to the salad table which is in the middle of the cafeteria the third option and that's what I usually do is just grabbing some snacks and a smoothie so there are snacks in the cafeteria that actually say suitable for vegans so you don't even have to go through the entire reading the ingredients thing that we uh, oh so often go through um, and uh, what I usually go for is um, popcorn and um, these coconut bites that they just introduced they're super good for you they're super yummy and I usually go for a mango smoothie and that makes for a great kind of like a quick lunch if you are worried about shopping Ealing is surprisingly good for vegan shops. There is a shop just outside of uni called Vegan HQ and it serves um, hot foods, it serves um, you know drinks and stuff like that so if you want to grab a lunch there that's fine. If you want to buy some stuff it also serves as a bit of like a, you know like a small shop. But if you go further down in Ealing you will find two other shops, one of them being As Nature Intended. This one's not entirely vegan, it's really good for finding very specific stuff. So for example when I was looking for um, tapioca starch or tapioca flour for making vegan mozzarella, that was the place I found it in. And opposite to As Nature Intended is my favourite vegan store, it's called Whole Foods Organic and it's full, fully vegan, you know, I think most of their stuff is organic as well. Another thing that you can do is shop at any other supermarket and just go and look for the free from section and you can find loads of good vegan foods or vegetarian foods if, if that's what you're into or maybe gluten free if that's what you're looking for you will find it all there. If you are vegan or vegetarian the one thing that you could be worried about is going out with your friends but here are some tips for you to make it easier to veganise your meals in places that aren't vegan. So one of the places that um, are in Ealing Broadway, which is where you'll probably be eating with your friends, is uh, Pizza Express. And they've actually got this deal where you can bring in your own vegan cheese and they will make your pizza with that cheese. The cheese has to be sealed, it has to be in a packaging and the date has to be on show and that's all the requirements. So I did that with my friends. Um, and it was lovely. Another place that you can um, veganise your meals at is Wagamama's. They've got the whole vegan menu and they're super helpful. The third place I want to talk about is Wasabi, which is like a sushi place and also they've got some curries and stuff like that, uh, but a lot of the sushi is, is actually vegan. The last thing I want to talk about is something that is a tip for everyone, not only vegans, not only vegetarians, everyone. Home cook as much as you can. Home cooking can save you so much money, it's, you know, unbelievable. Get yourself a blender, because smoothies are such an amazing thing to have for breakfast. You can make them vegan if you just use vegan milk or vegan yogurt or whatever you want to use in your smoothie. And then just buy some frozen fruit and it's cheap, it's filling, it's healthy and it's quick and it's all you need as a student. And um, cooking at home saves you so much money it can, it's really easy to make sure that it's vegan because you know what you put into it. So yeah, these have been my tips on surviving uni as a vegan or vegetarian. I hope you found them helpful and I'll see you next time.